KBS, Your Highness, sir. Uh, it's a pleasure for us uh, meeting you here today. And um, we want you to tell us more about Adrawai. We've been hearing Adrawai, but we want to hear from the boss's mouth. As the king of this town, we would love to hear from you. What exactly or where is Adrawai? Redeeming the image of Africa all over the world. Hello, my wonderful people, once again. Like I told you, we are right now at the King's Palace. I told you that we'll be visiting the King. And, um, you know, honestly, I'm very, very curious. Because I will still have to move around the town to show you what exactly Adwa Wai really looks like. So here with me, I have the king himself, Alayedua Ikuba Bayeye. So we will be talking to the king, interview the king, hear about one or two things that the king, you know, had to tell us about this town, Ado Hawaii. But from my own perspective view, I believe Ado Hawaii is supposed to be Number one historical tourist center in Africa, not only in Nigeria. You will see the reason why. By the time we start moving around, and by the time the king starts talking, then you will agree with me that much needs to be done here. Thank you very much. Flames are uh, the 
the source of flames on the hill. On the first flame, there might be human assistance here. So they decided to go and see who put the, the flames there. When they got there, they met some Dahomey refugees. People who escaped from the army war. Who were there because that mountain used to be a protector in the past from war. When enemies are coming and people are on the top, we always roll stone and put slippery elements so as to get the enemy down. So the Daomi war, the Daomi masquerade escaped to that place. And when Obakoye and his people got there and met them, you know in the past, once a son of Alafi, he's an Alafi anywhere. He was with the staff of his father. So when the Daomi refugees saw him, they quickly recognized he's a prince of Alafi. And the request to know his plight, he told them that well, his junior brother took the chance of Alafinity away from him. And he decided to go and settle at his mother's town, Ota. Oh, they said, don't go again. Settle with us here. We are also migrants from uh, Dahomey. And we are afraid of staying alone in this wilderness. But with you, as a prince of Allah, we will make you our king. So we are not going anywhere again. You too, don't go anywhere again. They now agree. We stay here at Dro CB. That's how the word Ado came into existence. I'm talking about issue that happened, incident that happened in 15,080. Exactly 15,080. Well, the, this Dahomey um, masquerade installed Obakoyi as the first Alado of Ado and founder right on the hill. And uh, he told them, I'm afraid of my junior brother because he could smell the wrath of our existence here and uh, bring war. Oh, they say we are warrior. If your brother bring war, that is the day in laughing, if he bring war, we will rally around you. I'll you. So that is how the people who made him the king were given the title to Aro. So for today, our whole family are the king, the head of the king maker. They are the one that install Alado into Alado chieftaincy. By and by, other developments are happening. We have Ashelu. Ashelu was a man who settled on Alado Hill after a while. And he was a very benevolent man. So whenever he's coming from farm, he will bring this local fruit, we call it olu. It's a local fruit. It's an other mushroom. Thank you. We will bring mushroom for the yoba. In the ancient time, mushroom is seen as a meat. As meat. Why you don't have meat and you have mushroom? You are going on with pandediam. <laughs> so he used to bring mushroom. And after a while, um, the yoba felt that this man that used to give oba who look to it. Let's honor him. So and they give him the honor of a chief title to call Aseulu for Baje. Aseulu. So today the second in command of the king makers are the Ashilu family. We now call them Ashilu. From the word Aseulu from Abaja or Baje. He's in charge of king professions. You know, yes. You know, because the foundation of the, the founder of Ashilu is making provision for Oba. So up to today, Ashilu is in charge of making provision for the palace. We have uh, the Asaloye too. Asaloye was a chief who escaped from a town. He was called to come and be a chief in his town. And he was a, an herbalist and he said, ah, no, I cannot be a chief, I'm an herbalist. So he ran away. And he said to me, I do it. And when he said to me, I do it, sometime Kabesi just discovered him and said, Go and bring that man. What are you doing there? He said, I came from a town called Uburu. They want to make me a king. 
and I run away because I'm an abalist. Say, ah, you run away from being a chief. Yes, okay. We will now what you run away from, you will now meet it here. And they give him the honor of the title Asaloye. Asaloye. And so, so since you are a, a, an Ifa priest, you will now be the Ifa priest of Alado. And of course, traditionally, the whole of West Africa, Ifa started from Adwaway. In fact, when the, the whole of West Africa, yes, the whole of West Africa, when um, the wives of the then Alafi could not have children, when they settled their rift with Aladu, Aladu now told his chief, Ifa Abi Asaloye, who was the Ifa priest, with the water of the suspended lake. Uh, Go and make prayer for the wives of his, his junior brother. They are laughing for your then called Onegoki. And uh, Asaloye then went and made necessary right for the nine wife of Onegoki, Alaf Onegoki. You can't believe it. The ninth of them conceived the same month. Wow. That was how the Oyo Messi now felt, ah, something is more than something. Let's invite Alado, is our son, that he should come and introduce Oyo into Ifa rites. So Alado now went with his Ifa priest and installed Alafi Onegogi into Ifa rites. From that time, it has become uh, a tradition that whenever a new Alado is to be installed, a cool Baba Yeye, Alafi for Oyo, is the one that is traditionally on right to come and install Alado. He sent his chiefs to come and install Alado into Alado chieftaincy. And vice versa, whenever the incumbent Alafi passes away and a new one is to be installed, Alado is invited to come and install Alafi of Oyo of the date. Wow. Redeeming the image of Africa all over the world. Wow. So you can see the importance wow. Wow. of Alado and Alafi. They are son of the same father. So Alafi is the father of Alado. Alado is the one that installed Alafi. By and by, uh, in the 18th century, one of the, the then Alado, I think about the sixth Alado then, um, was a hunter, a path hunter. The first, the first seventh Alado were on the hill. This hill you are going to. The town was settled down the hill. And uh, you see, when you get there, you see our ancient sent us there. But the eight Alado decided that let's go down. Already we are multiplying this place. This mountain will not contain us again. But the fear of wild animals down the mountain was uh, kicking the people on the top. Being a big powerful hunter, he came down and they got rid of all those wild animals. And he settled um, Adobe down the hill. Around the same time, there was another small settlement called Hawaii. So they are not called Hawaii by that time, but they were settled somewhere very close to us. Yeah. So there was an Ijaye war that invaded them and they escaped. The king of, our, that, of that settlement escaped. He knew that Ado Hill was a point of protection. So he was running to Ado Hill. He was shot on the feet, down the feet. So the guy, people thought that he had died, so they left. But fortunately, he was recovered. He recovered. He didn't die. So when the people came there to meet him, so, ah, we thought we had died. So ah, I'm alive. Mo ye. So it's better we settle here. Don't let us go fight again. Awaye. I know it's beside us. So that was how that amalgamation was made. The 18th century. 
ado awaye Among 
his counterparts in the Nigeria. Why? When the economy of Nigeria started, we started with cocoa, and by and large, cocoa has gone and gone. Oil came inside, came in. And uh, as we are looking at the oil development of things, always on go. Yeah. So we see that um, tourism have life sustainability. And that's why countries like Dubai, others, Dubai in 20 years back has nothing. nothing. Yes. Purely nothing. But they focus into tourism. Today, Dubai is a world power. Dubai is a world power. And many other countries like that. So, we are trusting that the US government, especially the leadership we have today in the person of uh, His Excellency Engineer Sheyi Makende, who do all the needful to expose the Adora suspended lake, to develop Adora suspended lake, or to uh, make necessary profession for world tourism, world investors to come and to invest in the development of this tourist center, which if happened or when happened, it will uh, increase the idea of your state and make it one of the best richest states in Nigeria. And thank God, the governor has been making frantic efforts towards this. Well, it's not enough about Adawai. We also have um, Depot, Kaolin Depot, which is used for um, ties, tires, pharmaceutical purposes. Uh, the depot is at international level. There is some Italian company have come here in the past and it is going as a great hay depot. We are also trusting that investors will come around for that one too. It may interest you to also hear that the World Center for the Christian Organization of Kiribun and Seraphim started from Adowaye. Yes, started from Adowaye. In one of our village settlements called Agilu. And all over the world, K and S set of Christians always come to holy pilgrimage at Agilu Adwawaye every July of the year. We hope stay out of order. We will soon be removed so that this year holy pilgrimage we still hold. So it's a religious center that has an attraction all over the world. It may also interest you to hear that the man who uh, interprets Bible from English to Yoruba called Bishop Ajayi Crowder has a settlement at Adwaya Environment Ushogun in particular Ushogun is also under the territory of Adwaya all these are areas of natural blessing that the government should exploit to make Adowaye or your state and Nigeria at large what is supposed to be among its counterparts. We hope the world investors, our sons and daughters at home and diaspora, and the government of Nigeria at large will put resources together to develop these potentials that are past wasting the case gone by. You're welcome. You've heard it all from the king. The government needs to explore Adrawai. Much has been said by the king, and I don't think I need to have anything to eat. It is a raw message that the king has given to us. The knowledge, the full knowledge that you all need to know about Adorawai. So just relax, take a popcorn and drink. Follow me as we journey to the hill and also the environment of Adorawai to see exactly 
all these interesting historical places and spots that the king has mentioned. Don't go nowhere. Keep watching Arenga TV. Thank you.